Matty Bochy, going for third. Let's go. Good luck, brother. I appreciate that. Of course, Papa. Well, yeah, bro. We're press. Like, I was like, yeah, bro. He goes, that's really legit. I was like, yeah, bro. Because we're past. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you want to be pressed? I want to be pressed. Don't press me, though, okay? <laughs> and I am back. What's up, people? That's right. We have the, we have the two-time defending champ up here. Right now, we got Marquise. And Marquise and Chavo, there we go. So this is quite a treat. Chavo, not only a former champion, but three-time former champion. Um, one of the best out there. Um, consistency, consistent, consistent. And then, of course, we got Marquise, one of the best from Long Island. Oops, just got it up there. Oh, that was close. That was close. So, once again, consistent, 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 travel, beautiful, wing base, actually a wing, wing, one, 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 okay, I mean, the difficulty is there, it is not easy setting those things in there. On the right, you got Marquise, which, yes, has a little spread of the wings, um, but unfortunately, is a touch of light on his base where it might knock him a little bit, but still a beautiful four. We have another amazing wing after that, and then a four and a one. Unfortunately, his heart was just a touch wrong, um, but once again, you have a number of points that you are trying to hit on this, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do need to score more than your opponent. And our judges are ready. Let's see what they have. Tabo, hold it on. Shout out to our competitors. Tabo, continuing. Yes. Yo, Nick. And right now we have two veteran competitors. Um, we have Haley, a fine threat coming from Houston. Um, and then we have Camilo coming from the Tri State area, aka. Jersey, NYC, all that good jazz. Uh, but two first competitors that have been up here before and know what it takes to move on to the next round. Um, this is not Haley's first or last third day. Um, also, shout out to Haley taking third place at our ESOM pre, pre throwdown over on Thursday. Um, very proud of it. We've, we've watched Haley for the past five, six years now. Um, and, she only gets better um, and better every time. So it's always great watching. And then we also have uh, Camilo, um, who is also technically a new, I guess, barista, so to say. Uh, but Camilo does a number of things. Um, for example, Camilo's family owns an amazing farm out in Colombia. Um, so he has come from the world of production, um, and fallen head over heels into the milk doodles. That's right, milk doodle life. <laughs> I need 
this chair. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, you may not be able to see me, but no, we are live here at the World Las Vegas Championships. Um, right now, we have Haley versus Camilo, and the battles just keep continuing and getting bigger and better. I know, bro. Well, I know. Yeah, it's all right. It's okay. You just keep getting better and better, though. Yeah, bro. I've been doing this stuff in fast too many, bro. When you get a chance, come sit with me. Chabo. Also, if you have uh, two minutes, I'd, I'd love to ask you a question. No rush. Oh, a little bit of, a little bit of fun over here, because as you can see, Camillo is hiding his design from Haley. Now, does that really matter? I guess technically it can, because if you drop your board first and your get and your opponent sees your board, they can figure out if it's worth it or not to try to pour something a little bit more aggressive or get an opportunity. So. In good old competition form, you will see, as you can see right there, hands covered. Whoa, beautiful bars. Let's go, Haley. Haley and Camilo, look at this. I mean, you have the contrast, you have the symmetry, you have difficulty on both sides. I mean, this one is, this one by far is definitely going to be probably one of the toughest ones to judge to look at right now. So I don't know about you, but I've been pouring latte art for way too long, and I've been competing for centuries at this point. <laughs> so I have no idea what it feels like to be new again and get in here, but I got somebody who does. So let me allow you to introduce Nick. That's right. Yo, what's going on, everybody? What's, what's happening? Hey, hey so... That makes sense. Okay, perfect. <laughs> cool, because I was like, what? But basically, we want to get you up here so we can uh, just uh, ask you like a question or two. Sure. Also, want to want to like highlight and some like put some uh, love to like some movies. Oh, but yeah. This is like your first one, right? Uh, number, two, number two as an alternate, but yeah, I haven't perfect. done one as like a AKA newbie. seated. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm you know, a newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's perfectly fine, brother. Like, like the whole point is, like I was saying before, it's just like you know, I've been doing this for like 12, 13 years. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't remember what it's like to be a new person right, yeah. up here, right? Like, so it's like one of the people I want to get is you. Uh, not to mention, like when you were up there, uh, like coffee black and everybody was shouting you out. Oh, Let's go, man. Yeah, yeah, so I was sick. like, guys, like yo, you know, plus like yo.
Now we have nominations submitted over the course yeah. of uh, the weekend. And uh, I'm going to read off some of the comments for this particular right. individual yeah. who is going to be repeating. And it's like it's really a test of like how much your mind can stand the pressure of uh, not just being criticized by the judges, but also like the self-criticism. Uh, but I'm a member of the Reason community who always uh, express amazing characters that we all try to have as Reasons in the community. Okay, you're back on. And these are what was said about the winner for this Sorry show. about that. We are the best. Others. That's They're right. Awesome and person. I have a special guest. All of you here. Others to be their best. So. Yo. What up, Tio? What's good, baby? How you doing, Nick? I'm chilling, man. How you doing? So, Nick, tell me where you from. Uh, I am from hey, West Palm Beach, Florida. Hey. Yeah. So, Nick, by the way, this is his second time ever competing out here. So, yep. I like how you have any move done. He's continuing to crush it. So, let's go. But I guess one of the questions I have for you, Nick, is sure. how does it feel being like the new guy out here? How does it, how does it feel when this is like your first time doing this? It's mad interesting. It's a. Uh, the community is like wild. Like uh, yesterday, we had one of the baristas from South oh, Florida. Hey. Oh, somebody's getting an award right now. Oh, hey. Oh, Lane is getting the Daniel the hey, Daniel Lee Award. Congratulations to Lane. Let's Yo, for those of you who don't know, the Daniel Lee Award is like a uh, it, it's given I think in memory of a barista Daniel Lee who used to compete at these a lot. You could have probably explained better than I can. Yeah, no. Um, so basically, Daniel Lee is. Uh, a huge part and big member of our community. Um, always had five minutes for somebody, always willing to talk and help, um, always willing to give him encouragement, even when you feel for some reason you didn't deserve it. Um, Daniel was that individual and was always there. So as a way to keep his memory alive, um, you know, we have started the Daniel Lee Giving Tree Award and it's basically given out to a community member who goes above and beyond to help those. Um, for example, Lane, um, even though he is a champion, um, is the humblest and just the most calmest and reserved individual you know. Um, I was super but, surprised by that. Yeah, but, yeah. But if you ask for any kind of help, be the first one to not only give the help but spend hours helping. You. Very, very kind individual. I've just, I've only just met him. Yeah, I only just met him like the last couple of days. But um, my first competition in Chicago. Apparently he remembered me from that, which was like it made an impression when he said that, for sure. That's great. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, am I not on? Oh, no, bet. Not. Okay. All right. Hey, here. What's up? Yeah. No. I mean, uh, Daniel was was a really amazing individual, and I think the what really makes this award special is that it's your peers that are voting for you, um, which means that they know the bullshit, they know all this other stuff. It's not a it's not something that's hyped. It's right, yeah. That's actually earned. It's people who like actually interact with you, and yeah. yeah. All right. It's dope. Congratulations to Lane. Yeah. But Nick, for all of those out there yeah. that are looking to throw down, oh, that's sure. that want to do this but can't, um, what do you got to say to them? Um, I know for me, when I first got into it, it was super intimidating. Um, I had kind of a weird path into it because my first uh, Latte Art World Championship Open, uh, which was last year in Chicago, I wasn't even supposed to compete. I just went, but my shop, the shop where I work, Subculture Coffee Roasters, uh, sent me up there just to like peep the trade show and see what was going on. And then uh, they needed alternates because people didn't show. And so I was able to get on the bracket and compete, got through to the second day, got knocked out by, uh, where's Ralph Macchiato at? <laughs> Mark, yeah, Mark, Mark is, Uzano, yeah. Mark is all the way out in Long Island right now. Bet. Shout out to Mark. What's up, Mark? Yeah, Mark knocked me out, like, super dope person, really, really good latte artist. Um, but yeah, the community is really what struck me, like, at, like, at this level, there's a lot of proficiency. There's a lot of really amazing pours I've seen, even just like in the last day. And um, but everybody's been like super humble, super welcoming. Like I've asked people for advice and on like technique or men like mental tips, and everybody's just been super helpful. Lane's one of those people. Um, there's a former world champion, uh, Cobble, 
who's been like super dope, Maddie Bolchi, who knocked me out today, super, super dope person, like, I've just, I've just been happy to be here, but uh, for those of you who like want to compete but like don't know how, um, reach out, reach out to me, reach out to Tio Joe, like a lot of these people who are, on, who are on Instagram who are like really big, who are, or like recognizable, or have a lot of notoriety, are honestly like really dope and like super nice and I was willing to like sit down and like give a tip. Um, rock up to your local shop and ask if they'll teach you something. Sometimes it's just asking, like, uh, my experience in the coffee world has just been like so far. I'm still like pretty new, I consider. But uh, so far, it's like coffee world. Like the people who live there, like, they want to share so badly, like this thing that they're passionate about. So yeah, just ask. There you go. You heard it here first. Just ask people. Just ask. Okay, yeah. We got the knowledge. We want to share. Just ask. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so now we have Paolo and Elaine throwing down. So, Elaine, where am I? Hey, there we go. Once again, staying with the consistency. Um, consistent, consistent, consistent. That is truly what latte art is. Um, it is all about pouring the same, it's about holding your cup a certain way, it is about getting the proper angle so you can watch your milk, right? Consistency. Um, and Lane has been the epitome, um, and right behind him has Paolo. Um, so this is gonna be quite the battle. Let's go. Yes, let's go, Ken. Hey, let me find out. Find out we got two-time champion Nick up here. What's good, fam? I hope you're doing good. I uh, was talking with Dad, and uh, I heard about some of your surprises. I can't wait. I'll leave it at that. So right now, we got official fight music. Wu-Tang, they ain't just for the children. They also about throwdowns. Let's go. And if you want beef, then bring the ruckus. Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing. But hey. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm old. Wu-Tang was when I grew up in high school. I bumped Wu-Tang on my cassette tape player. Yes, I said it, my cassette tape player. And then it moved to my CD player. <laughs> and then my CD radio, because that was cool. <laughs> you know, bless you those. All right, so I think we have one pour down. Um, Paolo still has plenty of time for his second one. Once again, you have two and a half minutes to get a drink on the plate. You can make two drinks within two minutes and still give yourself technically enough time to decide which one you want. But it takes at least an average of a minute to a minute and 10 seconds to make your first, which means you're rushing. Um, not to mention that five seconds in between where you're trying to figure out. So, Paolo submits his. Lane, once again, Rosetta Revolution. Oof. Now this is what I'm talking about. Look at this right here. So once again, Tanaka with the signature Rosetta. Got the thick lines, got the wiggles, got the symmetry, right? And then look at Paolo. Paolo, another one. Beautiful contrast. Uh, is just a touch off on the outside, but those inside layers are coming together a little bit. Um, you also have that second wing, um, the symmetry, um, the, the opposition of Balos is great, um, as well as lanes, right? Now lane, once again, did hit the speed points, so that can be the difference between moving on and staying, especially especially when it's this close of course. And yes, these are two different styles. One's a wing tulip and one is a Rosetta Revolution. Um, but once again, these things and these pours are just phenomenal. Um, so 
at this at this point of the stage in the champion in the game, every point counts. Oh yeah, Lane always looking proper. You know how this is. What's a radio? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo, Ab, you're in character. What's a radio? It was it was the oh, thing you would use before your phone and Spotify. <laughs> Let's go. Theo Joe play by play commentary. Oh shit, you know, you know the vibes, man. Let's go, baby. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So we have a unanimous decision. Oh. At one point, moving on. Wait. Wait, give it up. Give it up. Give it up. For the guy. Lane. Doing lane things. Ooh, Miami throwdown. Oh no, it's Florida, right? Yes, yeah, Florida. I think we have Miami in Boca. Orlando. Orlando throwdown. There you go. Gretchen with the assist. Let's go. Shout out AV team. Where would we be without you? Lane. Lane. Got a minute? So we're joined here live by not only the former champion, Lane Tanaka, but also the current recipient of the Daniel Lee Giving Tree Award. For those who did not know Daniel Lee, how would you describe him? So I've actually... I've only met him once, actually. Hey. So, uh, my brother has been in the industry during that time, and I've talked with him about this because uh, I've talked with a lot, a lot of friends, and he was just described as like this, this, oh, oh yeah, this like tall, like gentle giant who just like always was caring, and uh, I think this is, uh, this has happened when, uh, I had just entered the industry, and hearing all the love for Daniel Lee kind of inspired me to kind of like, when I go to these throwdowns, when I go to like uh, all these coffee events, whether it's a throwdown or not, um, to kind of be attentive to like all and everyone that's around and kind of like show love to everyone uh, as much as I can, to be honest. Um, Stop. I mean, listen, like yeah. I said, if you truly knew Daniel, that's what he was all about. It was just about having a great conversation, talking his talking, doing all that other good jazz. I mean, such a treat. Brother, welcome to, welcome to the brotherhood that is the Giving Tree Award. Um, I honestly can't see anyone else in this crowd that deserves it more than you. Congratulations. Good luck on the rest of the way. Um, I'll let you be to get your thoughts. Yes, I appreciate you. Likewise, brother. Thank you. And if you like to move that box off to Maddie. All right. Ooh, Maddie. The book bag continues his reign. The book bag legacy. The book bag legacy. No, the book bag chronicles. <laughs> the book bag chronicles. All right. Once again, we are in our final rounds of day two. Everyone up here is fighting to stay alive and to take home the grand prize. It's not only first, but 2,500. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Please, please, please take a look at this. Ah. What happens when you have two heavyweights punching each other to death? This. this. Once again, we have two very similar pores. Mitchell been going with his Rosetta Revolution all week. Already won one throwdown, has made noise yesterday, and is now making his noise here today. As well as that, we have Maddie, 
who is going something a little bit similar, but a touch more difficult because it is a start and stop. Maddie on the left is starting with a wing base and then finishing with a rosetta and then layering his heart. Where Mitchell does a full wing into a rosetta, a whip back, and a heart to finish. Once again, two extremely difficult cores. None right or wrong. It is just about bringing your best to impress the judges. Doesn't matter what your opponent is throwing down. All that matters is that you did your best and that you can walk off with your head held up high. There are unfortunately people who are sometimes better than you. And yeah, they take you down. And as long as you're pouring your best, ain't nothing to be ashamed about. And you can walk proud. And you know what? Your community will, need, will see it understand it and love you for it. Let's go Gio! Alright, right now we got the book bag up again. We got that butt bag. We got the Mitchell. Watch out. I don't exactly. You said that they're really working hard in this one. Obviously, they're going through it line by line, trying to see which category is going to win. I don't want this job. I mean, look, this, they're two identical courts. You have to sit there and go, okay, this one's better. Why? How? How do you tell me this is better than the other? They look the same. So close. Trying to make sure that they get the category that they are accordingly laid out. So. All right, let's get the conclusion. Let's find out who's moving on. Very good for us. All right, here we go. Moving on will be Mitchell. And Mitchell continues to slay this week. Watch out. Well done. Let's go. Not bad, buddy. I asked you that every other Oh, Nice job. Nice job. Oh, let's see. Let's see what the people are saying. I can't hear anything. Can someone type who wins? Oh, I'm sorry, Rosa. I can type it in, but you should be able to hear me. If you can't hear anything, then may maybe it's your volume on your side. Because um, anybody else cannot hear me? Just uh, double check in. Hey, Florida in the crib, watch out. Maddie. Oh, I love this. Yeah, let's keep talking, let's keep chatting. Yes, but try turning it off and on again. We can hear. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Joe, let's go. Great. Hey, thank y'all for being out there and watching and being part of this with the, oh, I'm at work. <laughs> Well, Rosa, if you're at work, it's going to be hard putting the volume up. <laughs> I still love you. Anaheim, baby, let's go. Right now, we have Maddie. Gretchen, is this top four? This is top four right now, or we're going into top four? Perfect. So right now we are in the elite eight. Maddie, Gia, Gia looking for his first chip. Maddie looking to get his third in a row. Gia's been real well. I mean, listen, you heard it. Gretchen said it. Gia has been pouring fucking fire. Um, he has been untouchable out here. Let's see if it continues. 
as you can pour as great as possible, but it's always a touch different when you're up there in front of that machine. And I'm not saying it because I'm trying to wish anybody anybody back. I just know from 12 years of competing, it is never the same once you get up in front of that machine and you think you got it. Yeah. That's, when, that's when it really kicks in. But once again, two what titans going at it, Maddie Bochi and Gio. Let's go. I love it. Maddie playing smart, keeping it close, trying to stay as close as possible to that pour. Also, by the way, the beauty uh, of a Rosetta is you pour that within seconds. So it gives you plenty of time in case you want to go for a second one. Maddie taking the speed point, dropping that first one. Gio still taking his time. Gio is dropping his first one. He's cleaning it. Is he going to put it on the plate? Still has plenty of time to pour for another one, so we shall see. I mean, you can't, technically you can't second slow Zeta, but Matty doesn't have to second slow Zeta. He can drop a full Zeta um, and not have to stress that. So it, it, it does, it does play the advantage. Once again, it is all about figuring out what it is that works for you. You, the barista, you, the competitor, you know? Do you want to pour in a 10 ounce cup that takes more than a minute to fill? Do you want to pour in a five to six ounce cup that takes seconds to pour? I mean, listen, it really is all on you and on your preference. I prefer a smaller cup because it is a quicker pour and I'm just closer to my espresso. But others prefer a bigger cup. They prefer to pour milk. They prefer a bigger circumference of the cup so that they can get a more fuller design inside of it. Hey, it is all about strategy and what makes you comfortable. Find what makes you comfortable. Pitchers, they're different sizes, they're different shapes, they have different spouts. By the way, shout out WPM, who is also WPM and Slow Pour Supply, that is also an amazing sponsor out here. And in case you're wondering, what are these amazing pitchers that we're using? That's right, S Slow Pour Supply, Anita and her team are the best creme de la creme when it comes to the pitchers. So if you're looking for the proper battle attire, I just looked at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You can't. fighting I think there's I think I think there's enough off on his base to, 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 to no he did get the speed and then and once again so in case you're wondering I'm over here talking to Gretchen we're we're breaking down what it is Gretchen has been here for years as well judging and setting all this stuff up so right now we're talking which is which? Which one did more harm? I mean, listen, you can sit there and say, well, Maddie technically has more of the line, but look at that base. That base has touch wash that, but then again, so is Shields. But we're about to find out. Super tight. He said it, not me. And Maddie is on. Showing once again why he is the two-time reigning champ, continuing his dominance. Yeah. All right, let's welcome up to the stage. The last two of our elite eight for Cobble Tice and Haley Anderson. Come on up. But yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I made it. 
I'm on the request line. That's right. Pick up your phones, people. Go on to our live. Come catch World Latte Art Championships. We are live here in Louisville. Not Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. That's right. Having a blast. So, Gretchen, who do we have? Top four, right? All right. Okay. 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 Right now, we have Haley and Chavo. Once again, Chavo, three times defending right, world champion. Oh, he's hot back into the ring, and Haley, oh, fire all week. Be on the side to see what she brings right now. So right now, we are getting into our We're getting into our top four. That is right. We are we're in our last match of our top eight. We got Haley versus Chavo going in for the top four. We have Lane and Mitchell on the left, and we have Maddie, two times defending champion, waiting in the wings for his opponent. Lots of top 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 top. top. That's right, people. I know only MC. I also sing really badly, and you have to hear it. Let me work it. Let my name down, flip it, and reverse it. There you go, love. And I put Maddie up there, so you're good. Oh, okay. Let me search you. But I gotta work you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this is great. I love it. Henry is is commentating in all the the, 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 the chat, and I'm commentating on, on live. This way. Seems like we're back on. Yes, yes, we're back on. All right, here we go. And for all of those joining in, by the way, we have former champ, Mr. Henry Berrios de la Isla Encanto, AKA Texas, no. <laughs> um, hitting up in the chat comments, by the way. Uh, but. You should be able to hear me. Um, in case you can't, just let us know. We are paying attention. Uh, but we are excited. Once again, we are in our top three. Last spot in our top four. Okay? So that means everyone that's on right now has a chance to place. One of the four, Lane, Mitchell, Maddie, or the winner, Chavo and Haley. We'll be fighting for not only the championship, but 2,500. That's right. As well as some other pretty cool swag. Um, I know there's always usually something else that they give out, so I'm excited to see. Let's give it up for Chavo. Oof. Everybody making Josh work out here, man. He's he's been three, two, one up too many times, man. You guys are you guys are pushing it, man. Very nice four. Lanisa, what's up, beautiful? How you doing, man? I see you out there. Oh, oh man. Very strong outside side motion. Wow, wow, wow. Let me know when you're coming out to NY. Please. And if you need a room, I got a room for you. I got you, fam. You let me know. Can't wait till August? Hey, like I said, you need a room, you need a spot to stay. I got you, fam. You let me know. But once again, we're still final four. Haley, Chavo, 
both Rosettas, two different variations. Once again, not one better or right than the other, just simply their rendition. There is traditional tattoos and there's new school. Is there one better than the other? Depending on who you talk to, they'll tell you one is better than the other. But is it really truly? Because isn't that the whole point of new school? Taking what we already know, what we had, and taking it to another level and showing you a different interpretation of what we do? Just saying. Once again, Battle Rosetta. Um, and our judges are huge fans of Rosettas. So this is going to be quite the challenge for them. Because um, once again, you have two beautiful Rosettas, just two different styles. You know? Really, a I love Luda. Luda's the best. Straight facts, Dio. Hey, you know it. You know it. Bang. All right, Henry, since you are commentating on the comments, which one you feeling, brother? I mean, I honestly don't know which one I would go with because they're both really great. Um, I guess if I had to choose, I go to go out to the shovel because I think it's a little bit better put together, but I'm MC, right? What the hell do I know? Final one, but four of them. But in case you're wondering, I am ruining Haley. Let's go, Haley. Let's go, Okay. Ah, oh. oh, they gassed us. I thought the judges were ready. They were like, okay, and then it was like, still silent. Ah. <laughs> A little bit of this process, so I think it's super interesting to get a news. I'm not trying to make it a couple of did not compete. We're looking for people who came to this show, competed in the competition. Okay, you, what's your name, my friend? Tyler? No, it's Kyle, got it, okay. Kyle, you want, who else you got here? What's your name, my friend? Dylan, okay, Kyle and Dylan. You're going to pour it off for $100 from Pacific Group. Just a little bit here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, cool. Good. Uh oh. I think I think we got something. Okay. I think we got something. But uh isn't it always that's awesome. Listen. I have watched Haley for the past four or five years just get better and better. So exciting. Um, if you've ever right, so made it to day four, three guys. and never gone past the first round of day three, uh, to make top four is huge. Shout out Haley. If I'm correct, this is her top four. First, uh, first top four. Our first of our final four and we couldn't have been any happier about it. Congratulations, Haley. Also, shout out to Cabo, by the way. Three-time champ coming back, showing everyone he could still pour. Top eight. <coughs> All right, so right now we are about to get into our top, top four. We're gonna have oh, Lane God, on the oh, God, yellow Sinesso, and we're gonna have Mitchell on the baby blue. Mitchell and Lane, first round into our top four. Yes! Play nice. 
Fuck yeah. No worries, brother. I appreciate this more than you know. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good. Oh, man. So, shout out Methodical. That's right. Plug a... If you haven't had Methodical, this is some of the best coffee out there in this country. Do yourself a favor. Hit them up. Um, but literally just drop by to drop me a sample. So, got to show them some love. So, once again, we are here in our top four. That's right. Lane versus Mitchell. And then we have Maddie versus Haley. Let's go. So, right now, we have two former champs battling out. And two, I wouldn't say newbies, but two first timers here in the top four battling for their chance to take home the chip. So right now, special treat, we're going to be joined by Yo, Gio, up? the Nashville assassin, because I've, <laughs> I've had the pleasure of being taken out and battling up against this amazing individual. It is quite a treat. Um, so Gio, how do you feel about your uh, Louisville, your uh, Louisville thing, man? Because, bro, you, you poured, poured your ass off, yeah, man. I I, mean, yeah. You know, uh, leading up to Louisville for like... The last two weeks, I was uh, doing competitions, and I had done two competitions. So I had won uh, those two competitions. So I felt really good going into this competition of my consistency in in, in competition. Um, and I I think especially with these types of uh, competitions, the way to uh, ease those nerves is to be confident, to be consistent, and just always pour the same thing. If you feel yourself, you know, pouring that one design well and keep going that's going to be your lucky charm so now also this is your first time in the top eight right this is my second time hey. in the top eight second time top eight um i once i got to top fourth in chicago there you go so yeah, yeah, yeah. once again as i've been saying consistency right yeah keep your poor practice you know what you're doing you know don't overthink it no. just go with it no, I'm saying, look, hard work pays off because like i said jill's been crushing it this past week and it goes to show, man. Yeah. this year in general yeah yeah for, for sure and everybody has been crushing it i think the consistency that Haley and uh, mitchell uh i think he's from miami both of them have been consistently just pouring the same thing. And when you see that consistency, you can tell that those are the people that, you know, they, they compete well because they stay consistent. They, they're doing the same pour and not moving too far away from it. Awesome. Got anybody to think up here in the crowd? Uh, Honest Coffee, thank you for uh, giving me the funds to come out here and compete uh, amongst all these beautiful coffee family that I have. Um, Definitely Esam, cool throwdown always. Bill, Center Goss, all the coffee shops they had throwdowns this weekend. You guys were awesome. Uh, thank you for having all of us there, and I appreciate it, buddy. You heard it here first. Honest Coffee Roasters is supporting. That's right, cafes, support your fucking priests, yeah. man. That's all we want, a little love. Yeah. Thank you, Gio. Always a pleasure, baby. And to catch you up right now, we are watching Mitchell and Lane, almost two identical cars going down. I, I don't even know how you judge something like this when they're almost identical. Well, with that being said, I have the pleasure of having not one, not two, but three-time champ, Chabo, joining us right now. Yeah. Cabo, no H. Oh, I thought it was Chabo. No, 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 no. You're good, mate. So, Cabo, such a pleasure to have you here, man. Um, I know I know you have battled with some of the former Titans, probably including Chris as well. Um, yeah. What brought you back? You know, I had a barista who applied and got in, and I figured if I'm out here, I might as well be here. And I didn't apply, but I threw in my name as an alternate and oh, got a chance to be in the alternate spot. So, so let me get this right. You didn't gain in, but you came in as an alternate, and you shot your shot, and you went. Yeah. Once again, people, you can't, you can't miss the shots you don't take. 
but, but you can get the ones that you do take. So it is great to have you out here. Um, how do you feel you did coming up here? Yeah, and, uh, yeah I, I feel like I, I did every round as good as I would have wanted until this this final round. I didn't win. Um, and mostly, you know, my first... No, no, Haley did a great job. She crushed it. Um, the I'm like king of speed point. I generally don't lose it. Okay. And um, it's the only guaranteed point, right? So you got to get it. And, you know, my first shot I pulled, like, it wasn't the machine's fault. It just was super fast. I didn't notice it until my cup was, like, a third full. And so my milk was steamed, everything, and then it was it was just full. So I should have switched from Tulip to Rosetta at that point just to get through it quick. And if it's great, submit it. If it's not, I got more time on the back end. But the, um, yeah, the second drink I had to pour, it's my first second drink all weekend. It was a uh, second drink, you're always a little more nervous, um, and you have way less time. And so I was, ju I had just started pouring, and Josh was like, 15 seconds, and I was like, like, I literally just, milk, milk had just gone into the cup, 15 seconds. And so I was like, I'm going Rosetta, I guess, so I did a nice base, gave a pullback. Sure. Um, what, who's got speed here? Um, so if I'm correct, I think Mitchell took the speed. Um, but I mean, once again, speed point. Something I've been talking about, um, as well as consistency. These fours are identical and have been. This is what they've been pouring all, all week, especially all day. Yeah. But speed point, that speed point, when they are identical, can be the difference. It matters. They're not quite identical. Mitchell's a little bit less contrasty in the base, but with speed, he might get it. There's more nice wings on the right so I think I think we might have I think Mitchell's gonna get it let's see but we'll see it could, it could just be down to speed great pours yeah, hey. yeah Mitchell's in the final oh, wow. uh, that's amazing noise. I mean what first or second right that's pretty yeah. amazing I mean this is also if I'm correct Mitchell's first ever is it? Wow. Yeah. You know, it's funny because I met Mitchell the Maybe other night. No, 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 I think it might be his first. I met Mitchell the other night, and he has been to my cafe, and he's like, man, I came in, I saw you. I like, no, and, and it's cool. He's from Florida, and Florida people basically come to Waynesville, North Carolina a lot. So, man, he, he did a great job all weekend, just super. I can't believe it. No, that's, that's great. And um, they, if you have something to share with those that are looking to compete in the future, what Just get out and do it. A lot of it, too, is, you know, can you win your local throwdowns? Can you put your, you know, put your nerves to the test in the local setting? So that's where you build the, you know, the muscle memory, the heart control, right? The nerves, the breathing. That's where you build all that up is when you're going to a local throwdown and you're, you're pouring next to all these other guys and gals and you're, you know, you're putting yourself on the line. And then when you get good at working in that setting, then you can translate that to this. It's a bigger stage. It feels more high stakes. Sure. You spend money to be here generally. Yeah. Um, yeah, I tell people all the time, man. Like just, just, I mean, listen. Chavo said it first. Very simple, very easy. If you want to compete, go out there and do it. You Put yourself out there. If you want to compete, compete, right? Yeah. Not everything is coffee fest. Just four times a year, and it's normally not in your backyard. Yeah. Um, so that's... Like, I, I, uh, the brief story of how I, like, I went six months of losing every single throwdown I ever, from the first one I went to. I went three years in a row losing every throwdown I went to, by the way. Yeah, it's, it takes a while, right? <laughs> so I went six months of every single one, traveling to them as often as I could, multiple a month. And then I lost every single one until I finally won one. And then I won for six months straight, every single thing I could find. Then I came to Coffee Fest. And so... That was my first one ever was in New York. I won that one as a 14 seed, which was pretty pretty far out. So if you're a 14 seed, still show up. And then I won the uh, went to Chicago, got fourth. Um, and then I went to Seattle, got first. I think I was against uh, Nobu Masa. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nobu out there or um, for first. And then in New York, I had Junichi. Um, in my another, semi, and then like one of the Chinese titan. guys. Oh another my gosh, titan. man, the, the dudes I grew up, you know, I say grew up with. I'm, you know, I started at 22. Like these these guys are really really legends. So, this is, I mean, this is amazing. Yeah, no man, listen, dude, it's such a pleasure. Yo, bro, to have you on thank here. you, thank you, thank you for your time. Thanks for having me on. Uh, our pleasure, brother. I'll be seeing you around. Yeah. Thank you, Cabo. All right, now here we go, Haley. And Maddie.
what we've been waiting for. Maddie going, <laughs> Maddie going for his third in a row. Haley going for their first. It's going to be great. On your mark, get set. Go, let's hear for him, guys. Give that to him. <laughs> That's right. So right now we have Mitchell going into our top two, followed by the winner of Maddie and Haley. But just in case you thought Lane, you just in case you got tired of seeing Lane or the winner of this, that's right. They have another opportunity. Lane is waiting in in space for his opponent for third place. So right now, once again, Mitchell moving to first. We got Maddie and Lena. You know the vibes. Let's go. All right, everybody. I know you're excited because I always excited when I get to speak to this amazing coffee professional. I don't have to. No, I was about to say, but we're looking right there. So I don't have to explain or say much. We all know who this is. Lena, how you doing, love? I'm doing well. Oh, this is yours. I'm doing well. How are you? Perfect. I'm doing great, love. So you are not just a competitor. No, no, I got my mic. Oh, my bad. No, no, no worries. You're not just a competitor. You're a fierce competitor. Where do you feel you get that? Um, I don't know. It's something, I think, deep inside. I'm a fighter growing up. I've always been a fighter, you know, surviving through life. Um, but I think it's more so being able to handle any types of pressure with grace. That's what really matters more. Well said. I tell people all the time, you have to you have to win as gracefully as you lose and vice versa. Yeah. But I think it should be a, a, a nice, uh, good mix. I agree. Um, so you've been uh, competing how long now um, on the, the national level? This is my fourth time competing. Um, the first two times I couldn't get past day one. Um, and then there was New York of this year, and I, for the first time ever, got past day one, and I got to top eight. Mm -hmm. That's right. In New York, she fucking crushed it. <laughs> and um, now I'm here um, for Louisville. Louisville. I keep saying it wrong, and I feel so bad. Um, and I made top 16, and I'm really happy with it because it's the best I feel competition for it for. So I can't, I can't be mad at it. No, no, yeah. not at all. I mean, listen. We were out in Portland, um, and there there was the, the first throwdown, um, and some would say, oh, well, it didn't go the way I wanted because I didn't win, right? But not only did Lena not win the first one, she took the next three. Um, so, right? She took the next three, came in there, crushed it, poured stayed consistent, knew what she was going to pour, right, um, and crush the rest of it. I guess my little point simply is just, don't worry about day one, worry about day two, day three, and all the other yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, a lose is not a lose. You, you, can, you can learn from whatever it is you lost and gain more from it. You know what I mean? You have to make space, you have to make space for, for the room of the growth, you know? So losing's okay. Yeah. No, trust me, I tell people, I'm like, I lost three years in a row. Yeah, and it doesn't feel great, no, it but then it, <laughs> then it feels great further down the line. Yeah. It's like long-term investments. Now, for all of those that are looking to compete, mm -hmm. what, what do you have to say to them? I say if you want to, stop thinking about it and just do it. Sorry, congratulations to Maddie Bolte. Yes, Maddie. Um, Moving on to the final. If, if you're thinking about it, do it. I think the community can never get too big. You know, I think there, there should be more people out here. Um, and if you need help, don't be shy to ask for help. We have this beautiful tool called the internet. It's as simple as a DM, a hello, a follow, um, a comment. Everybody is really kind. So you and have Lena, resources. Lena, tell them where on the DMs and et cetera, where they can find you on uh, what social media? What's your social you can media? find me on Instagram at Lenitas with three I's, so L-E-N. 
I I I T A S. There you go. You got questions asked. We're here. We're about it. Thank you so much. Thank you. It is such a pleasure Thanks having you up here. You just pulled me over here. I was like, okay. Yes. No, no, no. I want, I, want, I, want to, I want to get my peoples out here. Well, let, yeah. me just, let me correct that. It's not my peoples. Or better yet, it is my peoples because this is family. Like, like I, don't, I don't specifically pick people. I speak, I pick any and everyone because uh, this is what it's all about. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been, uh, been trying to get you for a while, but you keep running around. I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm no. so in this. I'm watching. Um, I'm proud of Maddie. That's cool. I'm rooting for Maddie. I'm proud of Haley too. Oh yeah. I mean, listen, I, I've been rooting. I've been rooting Haley for the past couple of years. Um, it's it's great to see her now yeah. get, get into the top four. Haley's um, someone I've always looked up to. You know, and it's my first time actually finally getting to meet her, which is insane because I feel like I've known her for years. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What was I say? You got anybody you want to say what's up to out there? Um, to all my friends and my family. <laughs> uh, to Rosa especially because it at it's. Simply Coffee. Um, by the you way, guys should give her a follow. By the way, Rosa, I hope you have your volume up now so you can I hear hope this. Because so. she was like, I can't hear anything, but I'm also at work. Um, I want to give a shout out to Rosa because she's back home working at my cafe, running the business while I can be here. So a special shout out to Rosa. Well, yeah. Best, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great rest yeah, of your day. You. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime, love. Okay. All right, so as you saw, Mitchell took the first spot, and Maddie coming in heavy and strong, taking the second. But we still also have Elaine and Haley still pat, still pouring for third place. So stay in that seat, don't go far. It's about to get down. And right now we have a fun challenge. So shout out to our sponsor, Specific Foods. Um, we are doing a plant-based pour challenge where we have two random baristas or just random people from the crowd coming up and pouring. No practice, no champions, just good old fun. But you also win a hundred bucks. That's the fuck I'm talking about. So this is pretty fun, by the way. It's a nice way to kind of like break the monotony of just like going, 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 going. Uh, but it's always a fun challenge. You pick someone random out in the crowd. You get an opportunity to make some money. You get an opportunity to compete on the stage, right? I mean, I mean, everyone. Want, I mean, not everyone wants to compete nationally, but now you get to compete nationally without the pressure. <laughs> and that's always huge. Right now, waiting in the wings, we have Haley and Lane. Haley and Lane, about to get it, about to duke it out for third place. And Lake. Keep it rocking. I can't see anything. There we go. Ooh. We got a ringer. <laughs> he has definitely poured before. He's definitely poured before. Hey, that's right. Lanita's West Coast vibes, you know the deal. Trying my best to bring on uh, not only just um, people who, who care and want more than anything to be the best, uh, but just some of those that, that really truly epitomize why it is we love what we love and, and why we do what we do. Walk like this, 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 this. 
you're wondering right now I'm just waiting for this third round to get going I'm um, excited to be out here I mean yo shout out to our sponsors Espresso State of Mind shout out to 8 Ounce shout out to Super Good shout out to Slow Core Supply the pitcher of today's latte artist that's right Wow. Give it up for Haley! Place yes, coming up. Go, let's hear it for him. Come on. All right, everybody, and another, another fierce competitor that needs no introduction. One of my favorites, Uptown, Finest. Oh, 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 oh. New York got, in the building, New York in the Maxie building. We got Maxie the barista in the house. Maxie joining me for our top three. Yes. Top cause three, top four, I don't even know what it's called. I the mean, final three. Final three, this is ridiculous. We got Haley, we got Lane. I mean, you've, you've been here, you've been watching this. How you see this one? I can see this going either way, because Haley and Lane have been pouring really strong throughout the whole competition. I've seen them practice on their lives. I've seen them just putting in the work to be able to make it to this point. Lane being the most consistent, because my boy went all year last year pretty much placed in first, second, and third place. And who knows, maybe he might hit third again this time around. It's a possibility, but that boy good. And once again, like I was saying, consistency truly is what it's all about. Don't try to change things up. Don't try to change your picture. Don't outthink yourself. Keep it what you know. Facts, but also, I would really love to see the day that Haley wins a trophy. And the fact that she's made it this far, it really is a sight to see. Look at this. Wow, look at that. Wow. Jesus I Christ. know you're on the screen right now. My Take, God. Do yourself a second. Look at this. Now, just to give you a heads up, Lane has taken the speed point. And once again, when it's this close, that speed point is a huge difference. Let's see if that actually has anything to do with this match as they fight for third place. That's a fact. Usually when the pores are this close, the only determining factor will end up being that speed point. But from what I'm seeing right now on the screen, Jesus Christ, Haley's contrast and like clear definition of every single leaf, it's phenomenal, phenomenal. There. I mean, uh, we, I mean, so me and like, I've been competing out here for five, six years nationally. Maxie's got three, four years in. We have had the pleasure of watching Haley. We've had the pleasure of watching Lane from from not even making the bracket to just be champion the following That's a fact. The following one, right? You know what I mean? It's like, and I guess my point is, never give up. Keep going. Keep pushing. Yeah, if you want to compete, go fucking compete, people. That's it's a fact. There. That's a fact. I stay preaching that to the choir. I would love to see more beautiful faces come up to the stage and take that opportunity. I can understand that the pressure could be a little bit intimidating. Just a little bit. Just a tad bit. But the more you tend to do these competitions, whether it's a local throwdown or whether it's something like Coffee Fest or something like SCA, who knows? Um, the more you do this, 
the more easy it tends to get when it comes to like loosening up and letting go of that extra thoughts of psyching yourself out, if you know what I mean. All right, so we have a, it seems we have a couple of comments out here. So it looks like Twiz, what's good, brother? How you been? So it looks like Twiz loves Haley's too, but I think Twiz has lean. I mean, well, of course. this is pretty close. This can honestly really go anyway. So yeah. Henry, the speed point went to lean, if I'm correct. Um, and this is where this is really going to get just really tricky. Oh, wait, what is going? There we go. Perfect. All right. What else we got? Both for fire. I, I can't agree anymore. I mean, yeah. both for fire. In, in my opinion, I, I see Haley taking it just from, from what I'm looking at and me as a judge, what I would judge on. Um, but once again, I'm an MC. <laughs> Maxi, where are you going? Uh, this one's really, really hard for me because I'm really looking at these fours long and hard. While Haley's is very much like you see the contrast there, Lane's pour feels a little bit more complete in a sense. I get you. So it honestly, it could go either way. I'm not. I'm, mm, damn, I'm, I'm having a hard time just looking no, at these. I mean, listen, it's it's it is why our judges have a scorecard, and it's why our judges take their time and deliberate and put all of this together. Um, it's so that we can keep it consistent and make sure that hey, when you go up there and you throw the best, you're getting the proper points for it. But then again. Right. When they're this close, Looks like you want to just get tough. Yeah. Let's see what's going on now. They about to announce. These are beautiful boards. You're making our job very much your love. We have a unanimous decision, and third place goes to Lane. Lane has officially taken third place for the second time. That. Third time? This is a third? He did one, two, three, three. Three. He took three in New York as he well. He took, oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, oh. it, it was so fast, man. Bro, that <laughs> happened so fucking long ago, bro. But, oh my God. Wow, okay. Nice. Nice. Listen, I'm happy that Haley made it this far. So, congratulations to her. She deserved to get to this point. She's put in the work. She's, she's been doing this a while. So I'm I'm very happy that she made it this far, honestly. Right Congratulations, Haley. You should be very proud. Um, board, board, like a piece. I mean, anybody else here, you're winning that round. Um, just goes to show how crazy this competition gets towards the end. Um, but shout out to Haley. Shout out to Lane. Not only winning. The, the given tree, but also taking third. Third place for the third time. And Maxi, let them know who we got up now. We got Maddie, Bolte, and Mitchell from Florida. Yo, let me just say real quick, when Mitchell and Lane just went up before going for this round, seeing that they both poured rosies, <laughs> it had me excited because literally the, both those rosies were so good. We so want. good, so good. Those be the types of rounds that I like to see, because if, if it's that close and the one determining factor is that speed point, man, listen, listen. Let's see what they got going on. Honestly, it would be nice to see history be made and see Matty Bolci win for the third time, first place. But also, it would be real dope to see a brand new winner. I was just about to say I hate to do this, Maxi, but who do you who you rooting for? Uh, but in all reality, I'm kind of rooting for Mitch. <laughs> no, I get you, and that's and that's fair. I mean, listen, yo, like like we all love Maddie. I mean, Maddie is the epitome of a champion. Um, Facts. Humble, always willing to share, always willing to talk. Um, comes out, hangs with us the whole night. So honestly, couldn't root for a better person. All right, guys, um, like that being said, we are also super chill and close with Mitchell. Mm -hmm. um, so it's one of those that it's just like, ah, but but that's the beauty of love our community. Right, love is love and Let's we have love for each other. That's a fact. Win, lose, whether you take me down or not, I just fucking got you next time. <laughs> period, period, period. Right. The other person is going to be second place. Still both amazing competitors. Oof. Let's take it off. I'm feeling it. I, I'm, I'm feeling I'm it. feeling that pressure. I got goosebumps. I got goosebumps. Let's go. I want to see new patterns. This is all what I want. Henry, 
<laughs> My good sir, I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to pull up then and come pour something different. I'm just saying. Add some smoke into the f into I'm, the fire, man. I'm like, just come saying. on, come on, man. I, I'm just saying. You know what I mean? You can't talk about wanting new patterns and then not show up to a coffee fest. Yo, literally though. Patterns. I'm just saying, former champ. <laughs> Everybody in the comments saying we all want to see Henry compete. Henry, yeah. come out of retirement. Come out of retirement. Yeah. The people are requesting it. The people are requesting. You can see it in the comments. You've been commenting all day. Breathing but, uh, hard right now. But I'm also, sorry. I truly hope everyone has been enjoying this. Um, do know that this is not just something for Louisville. Um, this is something that we are now going to be moving forward. Um, we will have a live um, throughout the whole competition. Um, you know, last yesterday we had a bit of a uh, we we'll fix it for today, which is great. Know that moving forward, we're gonna have you're gonna have a seat behind either your phone or your laptop, whichever you prefer. Yo, the, be here for you. the comments got me weak. What happened? What's that? What's that? They're saying, Vamos a Disney. Vamos a Disney. So this is like next time I compete and I'm pouring something different. Oh, I hope so. Shit. I yeah. hope so, Let's Mr. Go, new twins. Dad. Let's go, Twiz. That's right. Congratulations to you and the fam. Yeah, yeah, Disneylandia. Disneylandia. I'm officially retired. Mira, deja, deja con esa mierda, okay? Deja con esa mierda. I will happily take your help. I will happily take your help, Henry. He said, I'm retired, but I'm willing to help. Ooh. With some fresh ideas. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! <laughs> wow, we're talking. We just saw this. I see it. We're talking. We just saw it. Let's fucking go. Let's go. I'm sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I mean, listen. When it all. My boy said I gotta pay rent. My boy said I need to make up the money that I spent to get here. I am not playing these games. What? So as you can tell, by, by my, my, my coach here over here, what a fucking bore. Okay, there's just nothing else to say. This is what I like to see. Oh, man. And I mean, honestly... This, this doesn't get any closer than what you see. Um, you have two almost identical pours with technically two washed out bases. I mean, what, what do you want? I mean, what do you see here? I see two washed out bases, but one pour looks way more complete than the other. And my friends, I'm sorry to say it, I feel like Mitch is taking this and I'm gonna have to run away because I'm excited right now. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, man. Once again, it is all so love, first time, and we do first nothing time but support each other. So when you have those that are crushing it, always love to show it. But at the same time, yeah, shout out to Maddie. Maddie has spent years taking second and third and has taken the past two back to back and is up here for his third. Right now, Mitchell, first coffee fest, coming out of nowhere, coming out from Florida. Show some love and support. We'll give it up, guys, one time for Mitchell. Amazing job, buddy. I'm gonna go real quick to Maddie. Maddie, past champion, been here a long, long time. How's this feeling for you? Uh, anything different about this competition in particular you want to highlight that you, uh, you feel like you want to share, or just your thoughts of the crowd? We love you too, Maddie. Truly, truly. Give it up for both these competitors. Obviously, both champions level. They're both pouring amazing, amazing drinks. So once again, final pours 
are on the screen. You have Mitchell. The community of Breezes. Bit of a washed out base. You start seeing that contrast and stuff come in really towards the end. Natty as well, a bit of a washed out base. Now, this isn't me being critical, it just is what it is, right? Um, now, if you look at these things, they're almost, almost identical. Like, everything, I mean. This is, this is a lie. This is, I'm just, whoa. Like, I have to admit, I have had my moments where, yes, I have wanted to judge or be a representative out in New York for, for my community. Um, but then you're stuck trying to figure this out, and I, I just don't want it. <laughs> what do we have here? Mitchell with the win. Switch the camera for the reaction. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yeah, we're on it. <laughs> All right, we're on it, Meech. We got you. Is this for first? Yes, Rosa, this is for first. Um, Lane took third. For a third time. <laughs> Shout out to Haley coming in for crushing it all week. Nah, twins. Yo, bro. Ain't nothing about being biased, brother. You are not only a former champion, but you're one of the, our best and greatest competitors. Who would know better on what point is what than that? Trust me. Yeah, I mean. Like, this is just, who got third? Third went to Lane. Lane Tanaka wound up taking third. Maddie with speed in my opinion. So Maddie did take the speed, that is correct. And with a four like this, speed is huge. All right, here we go. We have our final two. Okay, let's see what's happening. Appropriately enough, this was one of the most difficult decisions, but we do have a winner here. All right. The winner is Maddie Volchi. And in first place, our first ever three-time back-to-back champion. Give it up for Maddie Volce, first place. <laughs> nice job, so proud of you, man. One more time for all of our competitors, guys. Huge round of applause. Oh, 
All right, guys, these are your local champions. You drop one more time. All right, guys, again, my name is Joshua Boyd. It's been my absolute pleasure to be your host and MC. I love doing this, love this community, and we will see you guys in Anaheim. Submit those drinks, get on the bracket, be a part of the competition, and we'll see you in California. Boom. Obviously, line clarity. You know, Mitchell is just killing the line clarity yeah, this whole time. Very good. Um, and then I think the balance and symmetry was another thing that was, was really well done on that side. So I think on yours, it might have just had a couple of. Oh, good. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's from the, the last. Is this the that's last one? Oh, this is oh. not Maddie. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Well, there's two yeah. Maddies. Sorry. <laughs> nope, I don't have it then. I apologize. They're so good. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say oh, you yeah. have one with the... I know. Which one is first? Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. And so... There was a balance and symmetry issue with this whole side yeah. right there. So it's kind of like a different design on that side. And that's, I think, why the balance and symmetry was not awarded in that category. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And then... Chris. So, the difficulty yeah, yeah. <laughs> to see you for that design. You have better presentation because there was a, must have been a spot or something on Mitchell's. Um, 
Color distribution, uh, that's just the inclusion throughout from middle to out. So yeah, we just judge that as being a little bit more uh, thorough in the middle. Okay, so. no worries. Yeah, cool. Thank you. I appreciate awesome. that. Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah. Hey, I heard from Anita that there are extra pictures underneath. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yes. She said I can have one. This is her permission. So. He's actually lying. She said he can't have no, one. No, he can't have it. There we go. It's for me. You guys did really good. Good job judging. You felt calibrated and awesome. Yep. Oh, it, was really awesome. Awesome. it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I was so nervous with mine because my first four, what happened was my shot went like super fast. So by the time I looked over, my cup was a third full, and I was like, my two that I've been doing all weekend, I had a plan to be more difficult, I was gonna give them and back then it was just trash. And I was like, well, distribute them or something. and the moment my milk touched the espresso, oh, the Rosetta, you Paula? was when Josh said 15 yeah. seconds up. And I was like, okay. I better pull it. So. You did. I think you pulled it off extremely well, given the time you had. I, I had 15 shocked. seconds to get it on the plate. I made some notes. It was um, amazing. was better, it was out to the edge in terms of the uh, color distribution. Uh -huh. uh, a lot fuzzier, the line thirds. Yeah, my notes was like, it, was, it seemed fine in the beginning, and then it was actually weird after, so I, I, I don't know if that was like too much air or something. Could be, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The cut through was another issue on yours, so that counted against execution, and, and I don't have a photo of here before. Yeah, I felt I like sugar like, could be through the whole thing. That was like the only part. It's yeah. the only part. It's yeah. crazy how that kind of Yeah, I know. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. I mean, well at least good. I got three points. Yes. I took a picture. Please do. I was wondering what it was. But I had a feeling it was that competing. But no yeah. good. No good for Anaheim. Well it's great to see you for Yeah, yeah. Nice good job. Good job. Yeah. Nice to see you in Anaheim. Nice Tell me your name again. Lena. Lena. Hello. Hello. Nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you again, Terrica. Can you make sure that the winner is Jack? Yeah. 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 Uh, that, that's what, I saw it, yeah. And that's what I was like, I was like, yeah. No, and I, and I, I told myself that. I was like, looking at it, I was like, yeah, I, can't, I just couldn't get that symmetry. full thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that was good. But you've worked so well. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I agree with the, with, with the call. 